Hello everyone, welcome back. So this video is gonna be kind of a nerdy video. So if you're into that kind of thing and you wanna know some hard numbers, this is gonna be the video for you. In this video, we're gonna review the EPA documents for both the large pack Rivian and the max pack Rivian. And we're going to show you what the actual usable capacity is of these battery packs according to these EPA documents. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons of going with the Max Pack. Now, if I'm reading any of this wrong, folks, let me know down in the comments section. I have to admit that I'm not an expert by any means at reading EPA documents, but I do believe this is gonna give us definitive information as to what we're getting for that extra $10,000. I'm also gonna to link to the thread on the Rivian forum. Now, that's where I was initially alerted about the availability of this EPA document for the Max Pack. And I want to thank Dark FX over there for making everyone aware of it. So is the Max Pack worth it? Let's get into it and find out. Okay, everyone. So this is going to actually be the large pack. I'll also show you the document for the Max Pack. And the documents list the watt hours. So all we're doing is there's 1,000 watt hours in a kilowatt hour. So I'm converting that watt hour number into kilowatt hours to tell us what the usable capacity is of each one of these battery packs. Now, again, I'm not an expert at reading EPA documents. So if I'm wrong about any of this, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments section. So as we scroll through this document, we see the testing procedures, we see all kind of different stuff here. I will link to these also down in the video description. So you can look at the documents for yourself. It's a ton of data. Now, this is the page that we're looking at that's gonna tell us the usable capacity. It's this red number here. Now this just happens to be the R1S 21 inch uh, road wheel setup with a dual motor. Now both of these documents are for the dual motor. And the reason why I'm pulling up the dual motor on both is so that we can have an apples to apples comparison. And when we look down here at the bottom, we see a total of 130,000 731.77 watt hours. So this is what they were able to pull out of the battery pack. And basically that's 130.7 kilowatt hours. So if you round that up, it's 131 kilowatt hours. Now we know the gross capacity of the large pack is 141 kilowatt hours because I actually posted on the forum some images of a Rivian battery that was available from a salvage yard. It was actually used in crash tests and the salvage yard has stripped them down for parts and they had three of these battery packs. And again, the gross capacity is listed as 141 kilowatt hours. Now, the gross capacity of the max pack is listed as 149 kilowatt hours. This is not something we have confirmation of other than a car and driver article where they said Rivian confirmed to them that that's the gross capacity of the max pack. So based on this document, this appears to show that we have 131 kilowatt hours of usable energy for the large battery pack in the Rivian vehicles. This document is for the max pack. And if we scroll down, we have all the same information the testing procedures, all that fun stuff. This is showing us all that information. And we wanna to get to that same page that we had on the large pack. And here we are, this is the 21 inch dual motor with the max pack. And we have a total of 141 thousand seven hundred twenty two point forty six watt hours if we convert that to kilowatt hours again one thousand watt hours in one kilowatt hour we have one hundred and forty one point seven kilowatt hours in that battery that's what the usable capacity of the max pack is if we round that up that's one hundred and forty two kilowatt hours so what we have according to these epa documents is a difference of 11 kilowatt hours between the usable capacity of the large pack and the usable capacity of the max pack. So we're gonna start out with the pros. 
The pros of the Max Pack are you're going to be able to go longer between charging stops. There's a cumulative effect. If you can save 15 minutes on a trip, that may not seem like a lot. But on the round trip, it's 30 minutes. And if you take 10 to 12 trips a year and you save 30 minutes on each one of those trips, that's five to six hours of time that you've saved each year that you own the Max Pack. If you own it for three years, you would save 15 to 20 hours. And this is just a small example. Some of you may see more time savings and some of you may see a little bit less. It's going to depend on a lot of different factors, but there is that time factor and it accumulates. Even if you only save five minutes, if you save that on each leg and 10 minutes per trip and you take 10 trips a year, that's 100 minutes. That's a little over an hour and a half each year you're going to save. And you have to figure out whether or not the upcharge is worth it. Now let's get into the cons. The cons are it's an extra $10,000. $10,000 is a lot of money and it can pay for a lot of public charging on your road trips. And another con is that you're only getting an extra 11 kilowatt hours for that $10,000. That's not a lot of extra battery capacity. For example, the Chevy Bolt, when they had a chemistry change, they gave Bolt EV buyers an extra six kilowatt hours for nothing. They didn't charge any more for the car. They didn't increase the price or upcharge for that chemistry change. They gave that to customers. So this is about twice that amount, but still it's a lot of upcharge for what you're getting. If you don't take a lot of road trips, the max pack is really not going to save you that much time. So you really need to look at how much driving you do each day and also how much road tripping you do each year to be able to figure out whether or not the time savings with max pack is going to be worth it for you. Do you take a lot of road trips? Are you considering the max pack for that reason? What do you think about the max pack? Let us know down in the comments section. As always, folks, we hope you find this information useful. Remember to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. And thank you very much for watching. Chasing stars and holding you